some modest gains. Richard Stern has a preview. Richard? Ray, that's your second great segue. You're doing just fine. <laughs> Thank you. That. Uh, we have modest gains, which I guess are better than modest losses so far. The morning top to bottom range is only 36 points, almost unheard of. Plus 16, the high of the day, minus 20, the low of the day so far. This is sort of the calm before the storm because we're going to get a lot of second quarter earnings reports this week and next week. And of course, how those earnings reports come out will have a lot to do with how Wall Street reacts. So let's take a look at our reaction so far. And indeed, it is modest. There you see the Dow at 21,651.92, a gain of 14.7 one hundredths of 1% on just light volume of 389 million shares. The NASDAQ for the day, very similar, up one-tenth of 1%, one percent, five and a half points at 6,317.89, that on volume of 688 million shares. The S&P, the big winner, up by a whopping one-tenth of 1%, one percent, two and a half points at 2,461.83. Well, on this quiet day, shares of FedEx were less than quiet, down more than 3% after the company said it would have a, quote, material financial effect, unquote, as a result of the cyber attacks they saw last month. FedEx has a European division, which they bought in 2016, which has its computer base in Russia. Problem? Absolutely. Ukraine, to be specific. As a result of that, that was really the hub of the cyber attack. And while FedEx said it is still working its way through, the problems indeed will affect the company's bottom line. So quiet day, but not so for FedEx. Yep. Whole new world for them. All right, Richard, uh, you're back here at 5 o'clock today? I'll be here. Okay, we'll see you then. Thank you.